A simple meandering channel was built for this simulation. Riprap was placed on the cut bank of this meander bend. Four houses were placed at different locations around the two meander bends. Some portions of this video run at higher speeds than normal. The river undermines the cut bank, causing it to collapse. Riprap is keeping the meander from migrating. More bank failures downstream of the riprap. The river is scouring upstream of the riprap. This meander has migrated towards the home, leaving it perched on the edge of a cut bank. Eddies form upstream of the riprap. These swirling currents further eat away at the base of the bank. Now we'll increase the discharge. Higher discharges tend to increase erosion. The riprap continues to keep the meander from migrating. The riprap also appears to have accelerated erosion immediately downstream. Note the higher velocity water moving on the outside of the meanders. The meander neck is becoming thinner as it is eroded from both sides. Eventually, the river will cut through the meander neck and bypass the channel in the bottom of the screen. Spring sapping is causing the meander neck to erode rapidly on the upstream side. The house has collapsed into the river. Here is a close-up view of how groundwater is moving through the meander neck and causing material to erode, otherwise known as spring sapping. Note that the house in the bottom of the screen has collapsed into the channel. It will only be a matter of time before this meander is cut off by the river. The meander is cut off, leading to a rapid increase in slope. Note the increase in channel erosion as the upstream portion of the channel downcuts to the level of the downstream channel. 